Super Mario Brothers Wonder comes out on the 20th of October, and I was lucky enough to have a little preview playthrough of it. And let me tell you, it's awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. It's got a bunch of little tiny additions and changes that all kind of amass into making this fresh new approach to a side-scrolling Mario. Now, remember, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, it's come out like over 10 years since the last side-scroller Mario game, and I thought it'd be really fun to take a look back at the game that came before Super Mario Brothers Wonder, New Super Mario Brothers U. All right, New Super Mario Brothers U, let's have a look. Now, uh, before we start talking about what they've changed in Wonder, let's talk about what they've kept the same. In the first level of Wonder, I'm pretty sure if it's the same in the preview as the final release, you get to play, uh, uh, get the first new power-up for the game. Um, and th that was the same here in, in New Super Mario Bros. U. You get the new power-up that they feature. And this one is this uh, Flying Fox one, Sugar Glider one. And the big thing on this is you can see here, you can jump and boost. You can boost and run around, jump, boost and float, or if you're just jumping and you hold down the, the jump button. So if you jump in the air and mid-air, hold down the jump, you glide. Now, obviously I'm gonna keep in context that this came out, you know, 10 years ago, and it's after the DS version, you know, people were pretty excited. But I have to say, this versus like an elephant power-up is, is completely different leagues to me. This one is very similar to the Tanuki suit um, power-up from like Mario Brothers 3 on the NES, which um, helped you actually fly in the air. That was cool. Uh, this is not really anything new, you know? There's nothing new. I wasn't really impressed by it. Um, obviously, like your, your classic enemies are the same as well. You got Koopas, you got Goombas, the new sugar glider enemy you saw, that's new, but Question blocks, you're breaking bricks, that's all the same, that's all the same. What else is the same is you got these little level secrets, uh, you got a timer in the top right, we're trying to uh, get to the end before the timer runs out. Now, let's talk about some differences. The animations in Super Mario Brothers Wonder, oh, they're beautiful, they're crisp, I love it. Um, now, new Super Mario Brothers, I think from the DS version onwards, they use the same assets from the DS game. Uh, I think they like upscale them, make them sharper in the Wii U version, but I th watch this, as you notice, you'll see Mario and friends, when they run, it's completely profile, like it's completely side on when they run. Watch, 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 watch. Completely side on. Now, in Super Mario Brothers Wonder, they go three quarter. And you're probably wondering, Harry, like, who cares? That's a minute difference. No, that's actually huge. You get to see more of the face when it's three quarter, even though they're running, which means they get to play around with the expressions a bit more. Um, you actually see Mario and friends, they all like frown, or like when they're pulling on something, they strain. I love the expressive detail they added to Wonder. Now, it's, it, this is what I want you to keep in mind. In this little playthrough of the, the older Mario, this uh, new Super Mario Brothers U, see how, how much they change their expression. Almost none at all, okay? Oh yeah, Mario time. Look how dead face Mario is. He's, he's not stoked at all to do a backflip and ride a fireman pole down a pole. He's like, Boo, whatever. A big difference in Wonder is like the controls. Uh, I felt like it was much snappier. Um, new Super Mario Brothers, there's like a slidiness, a, a glidiness to the jumps. It's not, you're kind of floating around. Um, obviously, like I said, back then you didn't really notice that kind of stuff, but uh, when you compare it to Wonder, I feel like you can feel it as you play. Um, the animation's like going into a pipe. They have a bit more character in Wonder, um, as opposed to New Super Mario Brothers, where they is kind of boring, like they just go into a pipe, like whatever, I get it. A huge addition are the badge abilities, which you can, it kind of gets rebounds to the R shoulder button that you use for spinning. Um, so for example, in Wonder, if you tap that and have the hat badge, uh, the floating hat badge equipped, you, you get like a glider, uh, which is very cool. Now, obviously they had to balance that with the power-ups as well. Um, that you get in Wonder because you, you can't have any overlap. So the hat glider in Wonder, that's the same as the sugar glider ability in this, right? So how do they add 
the abilities that don't sort of cannibalize the stuff that they've already got. Another thing they kept in Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the this overworld. Uh, this is classic. This is a mainstay of the uh, other side-scrolling Mario games. You've got an overworld, you can pick your next level. A cool thing from uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is, is they've got like an open world area where you don't have to follow a track. You can kind of roam around and choose the level order that you want, which is cool. Um, but you, you know, uh, you can go to stuff like this, a toad house that can give you items. Sometimes you play mini games. I remember that from all the way back in um, Mario Brothers 3 on the NES, which is uh, real cool that they've kept in New Super Mario Brothers U. I want to, I want to talk about. Oh, what was that? A little secret. Look at that. Now I, I'm going to talk about this. The secrets in New Super Mario Brothers U. I feel like they're not that exciting. Like to discover them. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, but there isn't... It feels like luck. Like, if I hadn't thrown that ice block through this wall, which obviously they're probably designed for, right? But if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have even thought to run through here. But Super Mario Brothers Wonder, I really like how you kind of... You got to muck around with the environment a bit more. Like, there's this section where you have these enemies, these bulls that rush across the screen, and you can see that they break blocks. But... If you lead them to a, a suspicious wall of bricks, they break it and you're like, oh yeah, that's, that's cool that there's a secret there. I didn't even think about manipulating the environment in that way. Um, whereas here, it uh, feels a bit more luck based, which again is fine, it's a secret. It's not necessary to complete the game, but I don't know. It just felt like Super Mario Brothers Wonder encourages a bit more experimentation as opposed to just sheer luck. All right, boss battle time. Now, here's, a, here's another gripe I have. Uh, I shouldn't be so negative about uh, New Super Mario Brothers. U, okay? But I felt like even stuff like these boss battles, like this is a throwback to one of the oldest boss battles from the NES era of Mario games. Now, it just, it doesn't try anything new. Ironically, this game's called New Super Mario Brothers. U. There's nothing new in that boss battle that I found interesting. Now, one thing I'm pretty sure they took out of Super Mario Brothers Wonder is the triple jump, which has been a mainstay since New Super Mario Brothers on the DS. Actually, it originally came from 64, but watch this, watch this. Ready? You, you do this, remember this? One, two, woo! They took it out. Now, I don't think it had a functional purpose. Like, it doesn't make you jump higher. Was pretty cool, though. Was pretty cool, and they took it out. Now, Yoshi! Woo! Yoshi becomes a playable character in uh, in Wonder, invulnerable in Wonder, but you can still also ride Yoshi, which is cool. Um, but as a playable character, he's kind of like Nabbit in that he can't die unless I think he, if he drops off a cliff, he dies. But things like um, running into enemies and stuff doesn't hurt, which is great for like, if you're playing this with family and etc. cetera, um, you don't have to really worry that much. I, I wonder if they do it. Hang on, let's check. I hope they keep this in wonder. In Super Mario Brothers World on the S Super Nintendo, um, they added this thing in. Oh my God, Yoshi did the dance! Ba ba. <laughs> okay, music in Mario games, the best, the best. Now, one thing they added from Super Mario Brothers Wonder onwards is anytime you could ride Yoshi, they add another layer of rhythm in the music. Listen to this, ready? Now listen when I jump on Yoshi. You got some drums happening. Ah, that's cool. I don't know what'll happen that now that Yoshi is like a playable character in the 2D uh, in Mario Brothers Wonder, but I always thought that was such a cool touch. A nice little Easter egg and something that you don't always notice straight away, but boy, the music in these games, remarkable. Now, okay, you gotta hand it to the music team in New Super Mario Brothers U. This is so sick and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Watch this. As I transition into different worlds, listen to the music. Seamless transition into different instruments, different vibe. 
Love that. That's so good. That's so good. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This was cool. You get a little Yo baby Yoshi and you could use its special powers. I don't think it, the baby Yoshi features in Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I don't know. Now let's talk level design. Um, I feel like new Super Mario Brothers, there's a, a lot more open spaces. Like, like, look at this screen. Like, it just feels so open. Mario is so little. I don't know if that's just me, my impression of it, but Wonder felt a bit more dense in a way. And this is my theory. I think the developers of New Super Mario Bros. U wanted this to be a multiplayer experience first and foremost. Whereas Wonder, I think they're catering for a single player and a multiplayer experience together. I will say though, I did play a preview of Super Mario Bros. Wonder at PAX where it was me and two other people. Uh, shout out to Tom and Kat. Um, but we were when there was the three of us it got pretty hectic and like a little confusing at times too whereas i wonder if it was confusing in this one you know like play, playing with three or four mates at once because it, it it is a lot of space look how much space they have on the screen there's heaps of it now let's talk uh, uh sort of aesthetic design i know we're talking about animation i think that's like different to visual design um a little bit and uh, i'll explain now i i never loved how new super mario brothers u had this like the characters look like they were made out of like shiny clay if you know what i mean like it's real bulbous and rounded i don't know and they had like this sheen to it. I didn't like it. In terms of like Wonder's aesthetic, oh, I, I kind of like it. it. It feels almost painted in a way. I don't know. But the, everything looks a bit squishy. You know? It looks a bit squishy. Squishy shiny. I feel like the developers when they were making this game and they were like, what aesthetic do we need? They had two words on a whiteboard. said, we want squishy, we want, we want shiny. We want squishy shiny. That's the vibe. It's the bloody vibe of this. The coins are shiny. Mario's squishy. He's Italian. Cut that. I don't. The power-ups don't necessarily correlate to the level design as much. Um, which I'm not saying they have to. Obviously, you can play this however you want. You can play this without any power-ups. Heaps of speedrunners and stuff do that. Uh, I just... After playing Wonder, and like when you get the Drill Hat power up, for example, and the first time you ever get that, you you have a whole level designed to show you the different ways you can use the Drill Hat um, power up. I think that's awesome. Whereas with this one, like the Sugar Glider, it might give you access to some secrets and stuff, the, the glider ability, but it doesn't feel as well thought out. But the thing with Wonder is, which I love, they added the badge abilities to change level design as well. I think uh, the level design for New Super Mario Bros. U, there hasn't been anything that really thrilled me as much. Like, oh, okay, you've got levels that go left to right as per usual. Oh no, this next level is going to be up and down now. Wow. Like, uh, we've seen that before. We've seen it. One thing that they added in Wonder, which I think is awesome, and I think it came from Super Mario Bros. 3D World, is you're able to bank power-ups. And so, if you actually, no, wait, that was in, hold up. I'm getting a flashback. You could bank power-ups in Super Mario Bros. World on the Super Nintendo. You could, no, I remember, because you'd hold the button, I think it was select, and we'd go, tick, 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 and it would fall. So they took it out for this one. Overworld puzzle stuff. I think new Super Mario Brothers U, a great touch. Every time I move, they move. Now, uh-huh, uh-huh. I want, here we go. I want to not run into enemies. I don't know what happens. Let's see what happens if I run into an enemy. I get hurt. I'm gonna battle them. Cool. More level stuff. That's awesome. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. See ya. 
from Visible Star. I love this. I hope that Wanda does this too. You know, I hope Wanda has new enemies and stuff, because because so far I'm seeing the same, you know, your Goombas, your Koopas and all that, but... Uh, have there been any introduced species? <laughs> Some introduced species to the world of Mario. I know, like, it's bad generally for the, the ecology of a, of a country to have introduced species, because sometimes they're pests, but in the Mario world, I'd love a bit more. I'd love a bit more. I don't know how many levels in total there are in this new Super Mario Bros. U. And I'd be curious to know how many there are in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I wouldn't... This is my prediction. I reckon there'll be fewer. Because each level is probably more unique. Me meaning it takes more time and resources to make each level. So they, they did a quality over quantity approach in Wonder. If there are more levels in Super Mario Bros. Wonder than New Super Mario Brothers U. Game of the year for me. Well, I don't know, maybe. New Super Mario Brothers U came out just over a decade ago and it's still totally playable today. The level design has like a flow to them. The music is superb and, and you can just jump right in. That's the best thing about a Mario game. It's not without its faults though. Like some things need a bit of tightening. The controls are a bit floaty, like the jumping and the slide, it's a bit slidey. Uh, I thought the secrets, uh, you know, more luck based than exploration, curiosity based. And the boss battles, uh, a bit flat, one note, I don't know. They were a bit boring to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure, at least from the preview, that Super Mario Brothers Wonder will address all of those and add a whole bunch of little things to make it a really fresh, and fun take on the side-scrolling Mario franchise. And as excited as I am to play the new Mario side-scroller, it's been real fun to check out the game that came before. 